Dear ones, how do you like the autumn weather? To be honest, it is my favorite season of the year, and the chillier it gets, the farther away the sky feels, and the crispier the air feels. And it also reminds me of many poems that the ancient Chinese poets wrote. So today, I will take this opportunity to share a poem with you. I hope you enjoy. And here is me trying to get the writing brush to absorb as much ink as possible. The middle part of the brush is the belly of the brush, and it tries to drink as much ink as possible before it goes to work. So here is the poem. Its name is Autumn Song. It's done by a poet from Tang Dynasty, and his name is Liu Yuxi. The poem goes like this: "Zi gu feng qiu, bei ji liao." 我言秋日胜春朝，晴空一鹤排云上，便引诗情到碧霄。Oops! I did not ask you whether you understand Chinese or not, but、uh, I think you can tell that this poem rhymes very well, and、uh, this is a special kind of poem that is short and, and succinct, and it rhymes at the end,、uh, usually the first, second, and third line. And it conveys a lot of emotions, and it describes a situation, or it just conveys what the poet wants to tell the readers. Luckily, I have a wonderful friend who does translation and who does it very well. So at the end of、uh, this. Writing this piece, I will be sharing a translation of his, and、um, I'm sure you will enjoy. So here is me writing this poem on the piece of rice paper.、Um, rice paper is actually a misnomer. It's actually made of cherry tree bark or sandalwood or bamboo. Those kind of materials instead of rice. So I write the poem down and then date it and sign my name and also stamp it at the end. And this is the final product. Are you ready to understand this poem from the English perspective? Here is the translation from my friend Zach. From antiquity, an approaching autumn is met with sorrow and melancholy. But I believe truly, an autumn day is superior to a spring morning. A crane aligning with a cloud in the clear sky. Draws the hearts of poets to the jade blue heavens. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed this poem as much as I did. Enjoy this beautiful autumn season. Goodbye.